What is going on everybody, Nick Costa here and welcome to this video lesson on groove number nine from the eighth note pattern section of the groove library from the Zildjian drum set method. This video will teach you groove number nine and then once you get more familiar with it, you'll see some examples on how you can move the dominant hand to various sections of the kit in order to shape the groove a little bit. I'm excited to get into this with all of you, so let's get started. Now with groove number nine, you're actually taking groove number seven and you're adding an additional bass drum to the end of beat one. You're continuing to play a steady eighth note subdivision with your dominant hand. And your non-dominant hand is still playing the snare drum on beats two and four. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and place that dominant hand over to the ride cymbal, your non-dominant hand over on the snare drum. Now to play groove number nine, you're gonna play the bass drum and ride cymbal together on one and the end of beat one. You will then play both of your hands on beat two, followed by the right symbol by itself on the end of beat two. You will then play the right symbol by itself on beat three, followed by the bass drum and right symbol together on the end of beat three. Finally, you have both of your hands on beat four, followed by the bass drum and right symbol on the end of beat four. Now to get familiar with this groove, let's go ahead and take it nice and slow. Play along with me for the next 16 measures at 60 BPM. One, two, ready. So now that you've had an opportunity to give this groove a shot, let's go ahead and try it again. Play along with me once again for 16 measures, but this time we're going to increase the tempo to 75 BPM. One. So now that you've had the opportunity to play that dominant hand on the ride cymbal, let's bring it over to the hi-hat. Once again, you're going to play along for the next 16 measures. This time, however, the tempo is going to be set at 85 BPM. One, two, ready, and... <laughs> So now that you've had that opportunity to play your dominant hand on both the ride cymbal and the hi-hat, it's time to experiment and move that dominant hand to various sections of the kit in order to shape the groove a bit. 
Now this is the part of the lesson where you get to work on your improvisational and musicianship skills. And although I want you to be creative and come up with your own ideas, here are just a few examples to get you started. Okay, so to recap, in this video lesson, you learned groove number nine from the eighth note pattern section of the Groove Library from the Zildjian drum set method. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and either myself or someone from Zildjian will try and help out in any way that we can. And while you're here on the Zildjian Learning Zone YouTube channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell notification, that way you're notified of any additional content that gets uploaded to the channel. Finally, if you haven't done so already, I highly recommend that you check out the educational section of Zildjian's website. There you're gonna find a ton of helpful content for either yourself or that drummer in your life progress in their drumming journey. And that is it, thank you so much for checking out this video. Hopefully you've gotten something from it. And until next time, see you later.